Best Buy made a massive move today up 0.75%. And you can see that we had a bullish cipher and a bullish shark pattern that formed here on the S&P 500 one hour. At the bottom left, we have an 81% success rate when it comes to this cipher setup. And what we're not looking for here is a push up to higher highs. We're not actually bullish on SPY. I'm still bearish. But what will happen in most parts is that we will take this high from 524 down to where the harmonic was, and we will push our way back up usually halfway from that impulse. Think of it like a Fibonacci retracement. So while this is our take profit long, this is now actually going to be our entry to start going short. We've been talking a lot about the four hour market bias that we have finally broken below and we are still holding below. I believe that this is going to be a strong rejection area since we have not broken and held below since all the way back at the beginning of the year. Now from this point, the S&P 500 most of the times when we break this support will push down into a lower low. So if we set our stop loss here above the market bias and we were to take a position entry here with a stop loss above the market bias and a take profit down here at about $509, this will give us a risk versus reward of basically 2.78 to 1 or 3 to 1, which is very healthy. Now today I did enter some puts on SPY and I entered way too early. I had a really, really bad day today from a mechanical trading standpoint, not my patterns or my actual trading, but I'm talking about alerts not going off, running out of service, trading when I had meetings that I knew that I probably should have closed my trades on. But all of this, whether you want it to or not, has a part in your life. And these are things that you have to take into account. Today, I knew that I had a meeting. I knew that I shouldn't be trading through the day. And if I missed my entry on SPY, then whatever. I just wouldn't have gotten in. There's many other opportunities. But instead, I started entering short at about $516 and planned to continue to average down in through the rest of the day, which I did. And we did close way below our stop loss for now. And so tomorrow, what we're going to hope to see is a drop back down to 512 and even lower to maybe 509, but I don't think that that move specifically is going to happen within the next couple of days. And if none of this happens and we push up through my stop loss into a higher high, then it's all good. At the end of the day, we're not worried or concerned about what's going to happen in the next trade. We are worried about what's going to happen over the next thousand trades, which you can see at the top right of our screen. So if you guys want to trade with me every day, trade this exact system, learn my step-by-step -step guide on how I take my trades, how I manage my portfolio, and all of our trading strategies and indicators, check out the link in the description and join our private academy. Thanks for all the support. I'll see you guys tomorrow.